Okay, this video will instruct you on how to connect your Moxie monitor with the VO2 Master Manager app and the VO2 Master uh, device. So in this case here, uh, once we've opened up the VO2 Master Manager app, we're going to go to Devices. You should see any devices either connected or ready to connect. If you're not seeing your device uh, and you've turned it on, just check in the surrounding area for any other Bluetooth uh, devices. Uh, and make sure to turn it off. Sometimes that'll interfere with the connection. Um, so in this case, you'll see a ticker, Wahoo, heart rate monitor, uh, a single Moxie monitor, and the VL2 Master, which is the VM Pro. Um, you may use more than one Moxie monitor. If you do use more than one, uh, make sure you see it here. It should show up. And um, just be sure that you set the device to Bluetooth prior to uh, trying to use it with the VL2 Master Manager app. Uh, another thing as well that I like to do when I'm finished my testing is I like to record in the notes section what monitor was where. So, for example, you'll see the number here, 4257, in the notes, and I'll show you this in another um, in a slide, but you'll see that I would label that as an example if I had that in the right quad, 4257 right quad. Um, because when it comes to the report, um, it doesn't tell you where the, the monitor is. It gives you the number. At the bottom report, it all goes after. Once you're ready to go uh, and you see your devices, and you're ready to begin testing and setting it up. You'll go to your athlete. So in this case, I've created the Bob Doe, and I've entered the details for Bob, and then I'll go to record. Again, I should see all the devices here. I should see the user piece that I'm using for VO2 Master and the mass size. I would have calibrate. I would now calibrate the VO2 Master if I already haven't. Um, if you see the ventilation uh, warning, you uh, that's not uncommon uh, given the size of the user piece. Um, so when you're calibrating, uh, VO2 Master suggests that you cover a part of the um, air uh, flow to, to help calibrate the device. Um, once you're ready to begin and you've already calibrated, uh, so I, I have a calibrated device and I won't for this example, um, but we'll proceed as if we did. So we'll begin with setup. Again, you can use the device, these devices, however you like. So uh, VO2 Master, you may decide you want to use it for a, re a free ride or some intervals. In this example, um, I'm going to uh, set up a 515. So in this case, I'm using a, a bicycle. Could use stride, I'm using wattage. Um, so using starting intensity of 90 watts and increase 50 watts. And let's read the next. So in this case, I'm using a medium uh, user piece with a small mask. And then again, um, it's not calibrated, but I will skip calibration just for this example. Um, just check the athlete details and then next. And once I'm ready to go, I can begin start. And once I start the test, the test will proceed and, and you'll get a, an alarm for example, with the 515 when you're ready to proceed to the next phase. So now we'll step. proceed with uh, introducing a sample report. So you can see how it's used in practice. So in this case, I removed the uh, individual's name, uh, the data, but this uh, individual was uh, born 75, male, uh, large male, 193 centimeters. Uh, you'll see here uh, under the notes section, just to illustrate how I do this to know which mother was where. 3649 was on the deltoid and 4256 was on the quadricep. So I can refer back to that at later. Um, this report is what you get from using the VO2 master. Um, you can get this using the app when you're using the analyzer. If you're using the analyzer, it'll, then you're using a step test, which, which was the case. I used a one minute step test in this case. It'll produce uh, zones, which are based on American College of Sports Medicine. I left those out because it would reveal the individual personal details, but um, that's at the top of the report. It gives you a VO2 max and maximum heart rate and power if you're using it and again this is all included with the report so you see sprint interval training high intensity interval training medium intensity continuous training some examples the different zones so these zones would be like above where you fit in terms of uh, what a good vo2 max score would be or poor that would give you that as well it touches on some of the the limitations so over here to the left you have some general guidelines for workouts and then we get into the uh, data. So you get your VO2 and heart rate uh, graphed out here. So you can see the linear trend here. 
Um, in this case, you get some respiratory data in terms of tidal volume and then respiratory frequency and minute ventilation. Um, you'll see in this case, which is interesting, um, that this individual, we did spinometry first, so he has a um, good spinometry, but uh, limited ability to use that in, in his test. So he, uh, for a large male and a relatively large uh, tidal volume, um, he doesn't use it well in the test. And so when we uh, scroll down here, we'll see uh, fractional expired oxygen or FeO2 and then VE over VO2. And then what we get here now is the MOXI monitor graph. So again, to locate, uh, to differentiate between which monitors where, we can scroll on the bottom. We'll see MOXI 5 here in this box. 3649 is MOXI 2, so SMO2. Two and THB2, whereas the 4256, which was located on the quadricep, was the one without any additional numbers. So 3649 was on the non-working muscle, the deltoid, and then the other was on the quadricep, the working muscle. This was a treadmill test, a one-minute step test. And you can see the ranges here in gray of the steps and then the speeds, associated speeds over on the right. So you'll see here that uh, the dark red and the dark purple are... Um, on the quadricep and then the light red or pink and light purple are on the deltoid, as you can see from our graph. You'll see the increasing trend of THB um, at about uh, probably seven minutes in, seven, eight minutes in, you'll see THB start to increase the test. And then you'll see uh, SMO2 dropping. So then uh, this makes it helpful then that we can see the respiratory data and see what's happening and why that might be happening and have additional information. Um, so uh, hopefully you found this report helpful and um, help, uh, the video helpful and using VO2 analyzer with your Moxie monitor. If you have any questions, please reach out to the Moxie monitor forum or just email me at admin at Thanks.